with me. Come and see all the wonders there will be in my stories, in my songs, in everything where fun belongs. We'll meet heroes, giants bold, visit lands both hot and cold, have magic tricks to shiver your skin, blast galore with animals in our world of fun. Hi, Piper, hi. What is the true value of a beautiful flower? Is it the price you have to pay to buy it, or is it the pleasure it gives you? Very often, people don't understand the true value of things. Our tale today is about such a person, a beautiful but foolish princess who attached too much importance to the wrong things. She was the neighbor of a wealthy young prince who had everything anybody could want, except the wife. One day, when he was out riding, he saw his royal neighbor for the first time. She's the most beautiful princess I've ever seen. What a lovely queen she would be. I will ask her to marry me, but what shall I send her as a gift? She's as wealthy as I am. Surely gold or jewels would mean nothing to her. Perhaps something simple would please her. I will give her my two most beautiful possessions, my rose and my nightingale, and you will take them to her. The princess's father, who was a great emperor, received the servant graciously. You are welcome to my court, young man. You may state your business. My master, the prince, wishes to ask for the hand of the princess in marriage and begs you accept these two gifts on behalf of your daughter as tokens of his love. Oh, good. Presents for me. The prince is very rich, so it should be something gorgeous. Oh, very nice, yes. Really very beautiful. It's real. Oh, Father, how can you call it beautiful? Why, it's an ordinary rose. Anyone can pick one. How oh, horrid. How oh, horrid. Well, now, uh, let's uh, have a look at the other casket. It sounds nice, but it's not gold. Where do you wind it up? Your Highness. This bird is real. Real? How shocking. How, How shocking. Well, my dear, actually, I thought it was rather nice. Oh, how can you be so silly? The prince is the richest man for miles around, and all he can send me is a stupid old rose and an ordinary bird you can't even wind up. But in spite of her behavior, the prince still thought a great deal about her. She's the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. She must marry me. But, sire... She didn't even want to see you. Never mind. She is so lovely. I must get to know her better. Here, take my things. Go back to our castle and wait until I send for you. Then the young man put his plan into action. Any jobs for a willing worker? You? Oh, 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 oh. I should think the pigsty would be the place for you. So the young prince went to work as a swineherd. Good day to your highness. The haughty princess would not consider speaking to a common swineherd. But there was one person who was willing to be friendly. They don't like to have you in the kitchen, so I brought you your dinner. Why, that was kind of you. I must go now. The princess doesn't know I'm out. Would she mind if she knew? Oh, yes. She has a terrible temper. The little maid came to visit him as often as she could, and he would question her about her mistress. But the haughty young princess had only contempt for the grubby young swineherd in his muddy sty. And then one day... Look, I have something to show you. Oh, it is very beautiful. Where is that music coming from? It's coming from the pigsty, your highness. Hmm, tell the swineherd to come to me. Hardly believing that he was going to talk to the princess at last, the prince came forward with his musical box. Is that yours? Yes, your highness. I want it. But surely your highness wouldn't want anything so plain. Hmm. It is very plain. But nonetheless, I want it. And I'm accustomed to getting what I want. Yes, your highness. But it's mine. I made it and I won't give it away. Oh, all right then. How much do you want for it? Money won't buy it. Nonsense. Money will buy anything. Now, name your price. Then the prince decided to teach the proud princess a lesson. Oh! Well, what do they want? Oh, 
Your Highness, it's too shocking. Go oh, whisper it to me then. <laughs> Certainly not. Well, that's my price. A hundred kisses from you, Princess. You can kiss one of my maids. No. Oh, how tiresome this all is. Very well, then. I'll pay. Stand around, all of you, and hide me. And you better keep count, too, and see that he plays fair. One, two, three, four. My word, what's all the commotion down by the pig sky? I'd better see what's going on. Gracious, what is all this? Now, look what I've got. Yes, but... Uh, oh, Papa, do be quiet and listen. Why doesn't it play? I paid the price and now it won't work. You're a cheat. No, Your Highness, you are the cheat. I offered you my love and you spurned me. Yet you would kiss a stranger for a simple music box. Then you are the prince who wants to marry me. I don't want to marry you anymore in spite of your beauty. I have learned that appearance can be deceiving. Well, really, young man, I... The beauty of this music box is not on the outside, but inside. Here, my dear. Here is the lady of my choice. Her good nature is far more pleasing than your beauty, princess. I've learned a lesson, and I hope you have too. Good day, your highness. So let that be a lesson for all of us. It isn't always what a person looks like that matters. But what he or she is really like 